at the stage where we've downloaded a free website template from the internet, in this case from HTML5 up and this theme, this template is called Alpha and it's very nice. The files for it are on my hard drive and I made one change, I just added my own background image um, because it was there was a grey, like a greyed out image placeholder like the, the others on the site and the banner so I just wanted to make it look a bit more interesting so I had my own image which is another image that was free with no copyright restrictions that um, I, I think was already on my hard drive, I think it came with Windows. So the next thing we want to do is we want to move all the appropriate files and code to our ModX manager because all we've got showing at the moment is the gibberish I typed in when I was explaining the ModX, key ModX concepts in previous lessons. So let's have a look at the files. We've got an index HTML file, a generic HTML, HTML file, an elements HTML and a contact HTML. So let's have a look at these in the browser. So the index is the front page. Generic is a generic page. And the elements page is a page demonstrating all the different styles that the developer has developed for this free template. And contact.html is a contact page. So we've got four pages basically. So we can create four templates in ModX based on these four files. So let's do that now. So in ModX, go to the Elements tab, Templates, then Plus, Name, Index, Save. So I repeated that process three more times, so now I've got four templates, index, generic, elements and contact, and I'm going to populate these files now with the code from the original files that we downloaded. Okay, so I've copied the contents of those files now into my templates, so if I have a quick look at that. This is the code from index.html and it's now in my index template. So let's do a bit of tidying up before we go any further. So we've got our new four new templates which we're going to use for the website. So we don't want this base template anymore. Um, it's it, We're not going to use it. But there's a couple of things we need to do before we can delete it because it is being used by the home page and there's also a system setting that says that this base template is the default template so we want to change those two things before we can delete it so first of all let's change the system setting so if we go to the cog item cog item click system settings and there are lots of system settings so just to see the whole page, click the um, this arrow to get rid of the left-hand panel. Um, so that yeah, as you can see, there are lots of system settings. So so sometimes you can't remember what the system setting name is. So I think it's something like base template. So let's search for template template, and it is default template. So that's set to one which is the ID of the base template. Oh yeah, base template. So we want to change that. So let's change it to our new template which is called index. And then to save that you click away, you click anywhere away from the 
from the value and that's not worked let's try again index so go under there so yeah when you when it's saving you get a little red arrow in the top left hand corner and when that disappears it means your value has been saved so that's the system setting changed now we need to go to the home page and change the value of its base template. So here it is the home page using the base template. Let's change that to index. Save. Now we can go back to the elements tab and delete the base template. So right click on that and click remove template. Yes, please. So that's a bit tidy now. So we've only got templates that we're actually going to use. So let's have a look at our home page now. Uh, now that it's using the index template. So go to the content menu item, preview site. And there it is, it looks rubbish because it's not yet connected to the style sheets or the JavaScript and it doesn't know and the images are all aren't there, they aren't even on the server yet. So that's our next job. And we'll be doing that in the next lesson.